if you bought three cans of sodas or only got two, wouldn't you feel cheated? Well, that's basically what's happening here with this power station from All Powers. It's advertised as uh, 1,500 watt hours, but it is only 1,000. So let's have a look at the math I got. So it's this type of battery. There's another type which is significantly better, but they claim to have 2,500 power cycles, which is a little weird because you would only expect 500. And I think I know how they do this. So let's look at two tests I did. Actually, this is written by chat GPT, so I have to correct it a little. What I did first was I ran a kettle for 30 minutes, almost 30 minutes. Let's just say 30 minutes to make things easier. And if you then assume that uh, it has an 88% efficiency, then uh, you can see that, well, I extracted 850 watt hours. That means that uh, I probably consume from the battery uh, 1080 watt hours. Okay. Uh, and that was, uh, and here we account for that it was uh, from 100% uh, to 5%, so a 95% uh, discharge. Okay, then I charged it again with an e-bike battery that's advertised as uh, 1000 watt hours. I charged it from 5% to 80% uh, while I discharged the battery to 10%. So already in your head, uh, if this was supposed to be uh, 1,500 watt hours, then you would have an inverter that was more than 100% efficient. Of course, that's not the case. So if we say that the inverter was 85% uh, efficient and do the math, then we arrive at the 1,020 watt hours. So these two numbers align that uh, both discharge and charge are near each other so uh, we say the usable capacity is around this uh, and this is accounting for the five percent you have uh, in reserve so you don't damage the battery so that basically means that the when this battery when it's range from one from zero to 100 percent that only account for um, uh, 68 percent of the claim capacity so that seems like there's uh, something wrong here. So there could be two ways to get this wrong. One way is that the battery itself is just not that large. They are simply lying. It could also be that they are actually intentionally only using 68% uh, uh, of the battery because then it can last a lot, more, a lot longer. So that also means that a full discharge is only actually uh, uh, 68%. So then you're so you can imagine that if you have the battery as a large capacity, then uh, what we are using is only in the middle, and then it's never actually near. Even with the five percent reserve here, then it's never near being completely discharged, and it's never near being completely um, charged. And that's why they can claim the battery to last a lot longer. But in the end of the day, you are getting one third less battery charge. Uh, so yes, this was the battery I could charge it with. Um, and uh, it costs significantly less uh, than uh, the whole power station. But the power station, of course, includes an inverter and a DC to DC and such. Um, but the good thing is that I was actually able to charge it through the battery here. So that means that you can use bicycle batteries as extra capacity. And that's, of course, great if you already have a bicycle because uh, batteries degrade over time. So you don't want more of them than necessary. So if you can use your bicycles so as reserve capacity uh, in the case of emergency, that's quite great. So... That was my rant about the claim capacity. It's definitely borderline a lie uh, that it's uh, 1,500. Uh, the inverter in itself is uh, okay. It's, all, it's an okay inverter. It can sustain the 2,000 watt that it uh, claims to have. It can sustain that. That's great. Uh, the peak 
is claimed to be twice as that, 4,000. That's a very short peak. So if you have an engine that requires more to start, then mm, maybe it would be an issue. Another thing is that it says that it's 230 volt. That's a lie. It's uh, two fa 220 volts, which is okay. Um, it just means that all your toaster and all of that stuff uh, runs a little uh, longer before it uh, go. It's um, finished. So, conclusion: good inverter, reasonably good inverter. Battery capacity not as much as uh, you would want to. It has a mobile app which is basically near you unusable. All it shows is. Uh, uh, the discharge and the uh, charge and the, the capacity, all of which you can just see on the screen. So it's a very basic uh, power station. Uh, and I think it's not cheap enough to to be that basic. The, the point is, I think you should not buy this power station, to be quite honest. I think you should go a step up and buy one that's just a little better. Another issue is that it's included the... Um, charger the ac to dc uh, charger is only 400 watts and that basically means that if you want to use this as a ups uh, unbreakable power supply then if you load it by more than 400 watts then it cannot uh, charge it so basically you drain the battery if you plug something in at 500 watts even though you have plugged in the mains at the same time, you will be discharging uh, the battery. Maybe that's not the use case, but uh, that's worth noticing. They have a version, the Pro version, which uh, addresses these concerns. It has a better battery, uh, but I don't know how much better. I haven't tested it. And the um, charging circuit is 1,500 watt, which is much more aligned to uh, what it uh, is capable of. Uh, and the DC charger, instead of being 500 watts, then it's uh, 1,000 watts. What I tested was that the 1,000 watt, no, the 500 watts actually is around uh, 630 watts if you charge it with a battery. Uh, the issue is that if you charge it much more above 80%, then it actually just disconnect. There's something it doesn't like there, but it's better, very capable of charging from uh, five to eighty percent on a battery, as uh, I tested. And it's also capable of using the bicycle battery while running. So you can actually just, if you want to, uh, if you see, okay, I'm at the uh, fifty percent now, then I just connect the bicycle battery and then continue doing my cooking or whatever, then it actually drains from this battery. So you don't have to both drain from this. Uh, you don't need to do the double transfer of energy. Um, but even the pro version is just as basic when it comes to the smart features here, because you can't configure anything besides uh, whether it's running 50 or 60 hertz. That's the only thing you can change in the app, that which you cannot just change with a push of a button here, uh, which is why can't you change that on a push of a button? Or maybe you can, but the manual is written very poorly. There's a lot of missing stuff or some stuff is simply incorrect. So I see a lot of uh, YouTuber pushing this product and this is my anti-advertisement of this that you should uh, be aware of. Um, this uh, lack of feature set, especially considering that it's not super cheap. Uh, so um, maybe it's worth looking what else on the market. And I don't know what else is on the market. I'm just saying these concerns that I would like, uh, even with the pro version, I would like better smart features so I can uh, tell it more about when to stop uh, charging, when to uh, um, stop uh, the AC drain and such uh, settings. Uh, and of course, uh, the issue is that you disconnect this every time it starts again so you cannot even make some programming on top of it it would be nice if there was a port out or a permanent connection you could put a raspberry pi in and just make these programming features another place so yes very basic so worth considering if there's other products well, that is all thanks for now